Today's digital storage oscilloscopes have lots of waveform math and automatic measurement capabilities. But sometimes determining which math function and which measurement to use for a particular measurement application can be confusing. In this short measurement tip video, I'll show you how to perform a frequency shift settling time measurement using the measurement trend waveform math function on an InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscope. Hi, I'm Johnny Hancock, Product Manager for Keysight InfiniVision Oscilloscopes. Let's get started. So here we see an RF signal that's hopping between two different frequencies. You can see we have a higher frequency here and a lower frequency in this area here. What we want to do is determine what the settling time is when it changes from a high frequency to a low frequency and vice versa, when it goes from the lower frequency to the high frequency. We have a special math function that we can do that with. Let's go into the math menu. I'll select the operator. These are the various waveform math functions we have. Some are very simple, like add, subtract, multiply, divide. Then we have several transforms. And down here toward the bottom of the list is something called measurement trend. I'll select measurement trend on a frequency measurement. So let me turn on the frequency measurement and turn on that waveform math function. And now I can rescale it. So this purple waveform here is now plotting the frequency measurement across screen. So it's plotting the frequency on the vertical axis versus time on the, on the time axis. And it's time correlated to our signal that's hopping between frequencies. So what we can see here is that it changes pretty slowly when it goes from the lower frequency to the higher frequency. Looks like it's ramping up. And then when it changes back down to the lower frequency, it's very quick. So let's make some measurements on this purple waveform math function. Uh, so this up here represents our maximum frequency. Let's measure that. So I'll just select max. And it's right about 100 kilohertz. Let's select the minimum. And it's about 20 kilohertz. So we're hopping between 20 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz. Now, it looks like it changes very quickly when it goes from high to low. But what about from low to high? Simply select a rise time measurement. And it will tell us the settling time by default from 10% to 90%. Now I can change that and maybe make it from 5% to 95%, or you can, you can customize it, or from a specific frequency to another specific frequency. So right now it's measuring about 280 microseconds for this settling time. And if I want to, I could turn on the measurement statistics and see the variations. If you think you might have learned something in this short video to make you more proficient in performing oscilloscope measurements, I invite you to view our other InfiniVision oscilloscope measurement tip videos. To learn more about Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscope, go to the URL listed on your screen or contact one of Keysight's authorized distributors. Thanks and Semper Fi.